This is the Big Sky German Show. Today's topic, applying tapes and patches to the fabric on vintage aircraft wings. Here we have an upper wing for a Stearman and we've covered it in the polyfiber, polyester fabric. Uh, we like the polyfiber system. There's quite a few systems, but we like this one. So the fabric is actually two pieces and we've sewn the, the two together and that seam is along the whole leading edge. So that creates a larger piece of fabric which we put over the wing and then we use polytac glue to attach it to the root end and the trailing edge and then along the tip it's all glued down but the fabric is still loose at that time so then we go over with a 250 degrees with an iron and we evenly tighten the fabric out on both sides and then we go over it with 350 degrees for its final tightness so after it's tight then we we put a coat of the poly brush over the entire surface it's a type of glue and then it's ready to rib stitch so we mark it out and we put our reinforcing tape down and we do our rib stitch now it's ready for tape to apply the tapes we use poly brush and we reduce it down with the thinner with poly reducer uh, three parts to one part okay so we created a two inch uh, pattern here to lay along the middle of the rib to give us a guideline and make some pencil marks to where the tape edge ends. So just create some pencil marks. Okay, we'll pop that off. Now we apply a layer of poly brush, thinned poly brush down the center and make sure we soak that reinforcing tape that's under the rib stitches. And you kind of hold your brush at an angle. Um, you don't want it too wet because you don't want too much content. You hold your brush a little sideways to just fill in the tape path. Good. In the poly brush manual it says that should dry a little bit before you lay the tapes. So we can go on and start marking the next ribs and then come back to it. But we will come back to it in just a second. Okay, it's starting to tack up and flash. So we'll lay the tapes. So we start on the trailing edge and she centers it on the rib with some overhang and holds it down with her thumb. And then Logan will pick up the slack and then he'll eyeball it and just lay it down straight as possible. Just drop it into place. Uh-huh. And just confirm that it looks straight. There's no swerves in it. And then we can tap it down. Hopefully there's a little wet stuff still so it'll stick to it and hold it in place. Okay, now we get a wet brush. Oh, let's and we really want to put a, a lot of poly brush down the center or in, in the middle to kind of push the bubbles away from the reinforcing tape because we start in the center, push all the bubbles towards the outside. Um, probably put, yeah, you can just put down a lot in the middle and that'll help. It just soaks right through and starts spreading outwards. Yeah, and then we come back with getting the edges of the tape, making sure they're soaked, but we don't want too much poly brush on the edge because if it builds up a puddle, then that'll show through the paint job. So we don't want that. This is the visible part. <laughs> so we want to try to stay as clean as possible on the edges of the tape. Okay. 
Okay, so now we've we've laid these tapes, so we'll continue on and lay the rest of the tapes. These are called cross cord tapes. And uh, once we're done with this side and, and they're dry, then we'll flip the wing and we'll continue the tapes on the other side. So we've been breathing in a lot of fumes, so it's time to put on masks, but we need more filters, so we need to quit. Okay, so we finished laying the tapes, the crosswise tapes on this side. Next we'd flip the wing over and finish laying them. Then step number two is the spanwise tapes along the length of the wing, and then you'd do the tips with the final tape, and then you do patches. Good job! Right. Yeah! <laughs> so I think you got the gist, maybe you can do it on your own Stearman or call us, we can do it for you. Now if you like this video, please push the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching the Big Sky Stearman Show. <laughs>